I'm going to have you think next about, I'd like you to choose from your purple map. Figure out one oppression that you all share. And I want you to talk from your target oppressed side. Tell me and figure out examples of how this sucks. Why does your oppression suck? Come up with really great stories and examples, and we're going to take a little bit of time on this. I want you to stop for a second and check in with your feelings. As we're talking about your oppression, how does your feeling feel? How are the feels in there? What feeling words are coming up for you? Not brain words, feeling words. think for a moment about this that we're just talking about from your agent side. Think about um, the ways that you've been messing up, messing up stories that you've heard uh, when you made a mistake when you were told about it, um, <clears throat> the things that you need, need to do to keep improving. Check in with your feelings. How are your feelings feeling? Do you have some feeling words? Nauseous. Nauseous. side if they have a harder time filling. on in a group, 
we're going to have a lot of conflict and tension happening all the time. If we can at least understand that this is a dynamic that's happening, we might be able to work with it just a little bit better. So why don't you flip your paper and we're going to step back to the page. What are you getting from this? What ideas do you have around this? It's contrasting, really contrasting intense feelings.
typical defense that the typical response is to get defensive and say, but 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 you're misunderstanding, that's not what I meant, that's not what I that isn't right. You want to argue. And you want to defend yourself, you want to defend your character because somebody's like, I'm just insulting you. I didn't insult you, I just said that word's not right. No, but you said I'm horrible. No, you didn't. I just said that word's not right. Um, when somebody's coming at you angry, it's really hard to stay calm, and we know why. So that's why I had the idea of, can you think of a little mantra or a little phrase that you can say to yourself in that moment? How do you want to stay focused on humility? That's basically what I was going to say was, uh, in the times that you're feeling impatient, remember the times when you were trying to catch up, and vice versa, mm -hmm. because for every person who's coming at you with anger, you'll have to remember that there are things that that you feel equally as passionate mm -hmm. about. And because everybody has that dynamic, just remember both sides of it and remember the times that you were on either side and approach it in that way. Remember that there's two sides here and remember what the other side felt like. Yeah. See if you can tap into that side. Mm -hmm. Coffee, you know, for me, you know, I'm black, first of all. I'm a woman. Okay. I'm oppressed. This is what I thought in my mind. Mm -hmm. But I'm really not that oppressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a Right, so being a social justice teacher has taught me so much. So very much. Um, having to do this day in and day out with beginners all day, every day has taught me an incredible amount of patience. I used to be a lot less patient than I am right now, if you can believe it. Um, um, going through this and hearing some of the really horrendous things that my students have said to each other and to me, and recognizing, like, I don't get to yell at them. <laughs> That's not going to help. I, I, I'm not allowed to slap them. <laughs> I can't yell. And there, and there have been some amazing things said my way. And just having to stop for a second and breathe and say, okay, we're learning, and that was a mistake, and this is how we're going to learn from that mistake. See if you can imagine that moment as you are really, really angry and trying to ed educate somebody. See if that helps you think through it at all. We were just talking about over there. When I came out, you were really angry, just even demonstrating. Like, oh! <laughs> see if you can offer somebody just a heartbeat of patience and see if you can try it from there. Sometimes that's not actually valid. Sometimes that's not going to work and sometimes that's not the strategy. But sometimes it is. See if that's a moment where you can say, okay, I understand what it's like to be lost, confused, and worried about making a mistake. Let's see if I can explain it differently. And sometimes not. Make sure that you don't let people tone police you into saying, well, sweeter, sweeter, and sweeter, and sweeter, and then I'll listen. So don't play that game.